Welcome everybody back, it's Home Harbor and in this episode we will finish our hull and I want to begin this video with placing those parts it's J10 and J8 also J9 if you're doing the regular Pilates so let's cut them from the wood plate and begin so guys I cut them you can put them like this to don't mess them so in our ship now we can try to look how will they fit well guys they fit perfect you don't need to bend them you don't need to do anything awesome so we can prepare those two pieces and glue them I'm going to paint them at the same time sand them a little bit and do that old look so I will take the paint the sanding file and we can start with this one guys send those edges so it will glue perfect to the surface good now let's paint them so guys I paint both of them now let's do a little bit of sanding on the edges well I did something like this now we can put our stain walnut stain that I use all the build let's apply it now just a little time to dry and we will continue so they dry now let's put a little bit of glue I use super glue but the gel one to don't mess anything I don't put a lot of it because there is no pressure on those pieces you don't need to bend them you just easily place them right where they should be now let's just press press it to the deck for a few seconds until it completely glue it's just a few seconds not a lot good now the other side good guys perfect changing a lot the look of the deck from inside I like it I really do now our next step is going to be those back parts so they are finishing right here and you need to send them down so they will be like this they are finishing and almost equal with this top part so you need to send them to do angle like this 
right so they will be like in the top of this piece i don't know how to explain it better so they will be like this i hope you understand so i will prepare them in the same way and i will come back to you so guys i prepared them now let's glue them as again just a little bit of glue in the beginning of our video videos i told you that, that i don't like super glue i don't like the normal super glue because it can be messy it's run but this one you have time to play with your details to place them like you want and you really don't have any problems you have time to adjust them to put them in, in the other side or something like that Good. This part right here. The ending is good. Now let's glue the other side. Good. Now, guys, for those who are doing the regular Pilates, you have here those parts that you glue between your drain holes I cover my drain holes so I need to cut one full piece to glue it inside for those who are building Pilates like me I will show you now how to do this this part right here is actually very simple we have in our kit planks that have two by three you will use them who do the regular Pilates you will use them right here we going to use them I going to use them to cover this this part right here because I have a cannons I have a rigging for the cannons I will not do this part so for those who do the regular Pilates it's just simple you put your planks like this you cut them and then you send them down a bit at the angle to angle goes inside okay so with this wood i will cover my holes right here so it's very simple i just mark the piece that i need i will send it down a little bit good one is done now the other one it's my choice guys a lot of stuff that are in the kit I don't use because simply I don't like them or I want to change it you can follow me or you can do like instructions up until now there is nothing complicate that you will not do without me so this part also done so now just basically like we did here we paint them black give a little bit of sanding and glue them down so there is no point to film it I'm going to do this and I will come back to you so guys this part is also done from both sides now we're going to do the stern part part of how I call the core right so you basically need to put 
uh, you need to first do your picture how you want to paint it down then you put the tape you cut the tape right and then you just paint it black if you want to do it like this be my guest if you want to do something different try to find at home some pieces of plywood any wood that you can find and do the next thing that i do it will give the way how i'm doing it will give more volume in the sides of the stern and i think it would look more realistic if you will just paint it it's just my opinion so how i'm doing it i'm just putting the piece that i have and put the clipper now i mark the edges where i need to cut it I just simply cut them so basically I did this part right here right now I will mark here and here probably I don't have enough of wood because the lower part must be four centimeters I don't have enough wood so my first part will have three centimeters as well as in the top I think so In the top I will give 4 cm. Now when I mark it I just do the similar picture like it was in the instruction. Now I give a little bit of sanding. I use balsa wood. Balsa wood is not not very good type of material because it's very fragile and it's easy to break it, easy to damage it. So if you have balsa wood at home, be careful because it's not easy to work with. So guys, basically it's what I wanted to do to give more extra wood. I'm going to paint it. I'm going to do like the rest of the ship that old look and I think well I think it look nice also I will not do it like this I will do her more round I think it will be more interesting I will do her like this A little bit different but all of my ship is different now what I need is just to do one more piece like this and then I can send it down and paint it so I will do one more piece like this and I will come back to you so guys now I have two the same parts equal parts now I need to do them slimmer because I want them to be slimmer than the whales so I will need to do sanding again if you are working with balsa wood be careful because it's very easy to break it it's like a paper
good this one is good so I'm going to send the other one and we can start with the painting paint them and now we give them a little bit time to dry and when they will dry we give a little bit of sanding and again the stain so it will look old and I think it look it will look nice so just a second it will dry and we will continue so it's dry now we can send it I go to the edges again Now the stain. Good. Now again, I will leave them to dry and then we're going to glue them. So they are almost completely dry. Let's glue them. So now let's give them time to glue and now we can cut for our from our board we can cut the handrail or top rails part that goes in the top. Guys if you didn't like the core the way how I did you can just uh, do the regular way how it is in instruction just paint it I adding something mine you can just follow if you like it you can paint it differently I'm just showing the way how I see my ship so now we can send those edges a little bit good guys I send them down I wanted to see how they look they fit perfectly perfect because I think the okra kits are very nice are very good quality so what we need to do is paint them send them down and then glue them by the way this is how it looks Well guys, this was the point of my building, make it look old, I'm happy with the result. So guys, now let's paint our pieces, make them look old and then we're going to glue them. Let's start with the painting. So guys, we paint them all, now just we will leave them, they will completely dry, then we're going to glue them and only after that we're going to do our old look, sanding and putting the stain. So let's give them time to rest and then we will start gluing them, we will start from the bow and then go back. Now just wait. Guys, our pieces are dry and we are good to glue them. So let's start. Good. First is done. So guys, let's continue.
Good. Now the last one. Good. Now we wait until it dries. So guys, I did glue it. The first stage is done. I'm going to. Uh, I did show you how to do the first side. Then I'm going to glue the other side, and then we will speak a little bit about these gaps when they are joined. What we can do. And then we will do the old effect as usual and put some stain. So I will do the other side and we'll come back. Guys, I did do two parts. Now we have here those joints where the pieces join together. Here with the bow. So I already sent sand down here and here. And honestly, I think it works. So I did the experiment, now I'll show you how I did this. I apply a wood glue, glue for wood. Then with the paper towel I take all the excess so it will be just in the hole. Now I will sand it down very easily, very slowly so the the wood, the pieces of the wood and the paint will enter there and we will not see that joint. After painting we will see. Now right here. See guys, glue is just where we need, where we have the holes. Now let's send it down. Now let's give very thin layer of paint. Well guys, I cannot say they are completely invisible but much much better than it was now when it's drying we can start do the old effect as we usually do good now, the last thing that we are going to do today, you know that a lot of stuff I don't use, a lot of stuff I just skip because I don't like them, right? This part right here comes right here, like this. Well, I know that a lot of you will not accept that or don't will not want to accept it but I will not use those parts I will just put blocks I will do holes and do blocks at the deck it's not right maybe it's not right but well I want it this way so guys the last thing that I will do from our cutboard is these pieces right here I will glue them like this, just a second, like this. Right now I'm going to paint them and then send them down and put stain all over the ship, alright? So I'm going to paint those details, send them down and then we're going to glue them and stain the ship. So guys I prepared these parts, 
Now we can glue them. Okay. Now I will take the stain and let it stain all of the ship. So guys, we done awesome job I think. The handrail is also very beautiful. Now let's just put the stain, let it dry and then we will look what we have accomplished today you know I always try to do something different uh, to my ship look different than the others it's not a replica when the time will come and I really want to do the frigate Diana I think it's beautiful ship also frigate uh, Mercedes the Nossa Senhora Mercedes she also is a beautiful ship and when the time come I will do really try to do really a replica without all of those things this part I will do this part I will not do I would I would like to do a beautiful repli replica beautiful ship I'm not saying museum quality because guys I'm not a professional I'm just very into the ships very much and when we will finish with this ship I will show you one special person that helps me a lot teach me a lot and my Polaris was really inspired by his one build but it will I will relieve that I will show that after when we finish Polaris Pirate Polaris I will speak a little bit about that dude he's very awesome person he's always willing to help well, he's a good guy, really is. So guys, I think this part is done. If I'm not putting some parts like here, if I'm changing something, it doesn't mean that you must follow me really step by step. You can choose your own way. You can do like it is an instruction. Uh, you can disagree with me my comment section is always open you can write text what you like what you don't like but honestly guys every build you're building the ship it must be something special it must be something yours you can build the same ship in two different ways I'm not speaking about changing something I'm not speaking about uh, giving more guns, adding more guns, do some holes, do some steps. I'm speaking about the painting, the way you glue the pieces, uh, a lot of a lot of stuff. Every ship is different. You can build, you can have three the same models, three Santissima Trinidad, and they will be all different. They will not be the same. So guys, I will wait some time until it dries and then we will take a look what we have accomplished but before that I will tell you one thing next episode is about rudder we are going to put the rudder and the core part it goes in the stern it's going to be next episode and then I think we should speak with you about I'm always saying that but I will do this video with all of the links we will speak with you about the 
all of the extra that I'm using. I'm not saying that you should buy, but we will speak about all of the extra that I'm using with all of the links. I will count every block, every eyeball that I will use. I just need some time to check all of the plans and we will speak about it. And I will tell you everything and I will write everything so you will not, not miss nothing. So guys, just a moment to dry and then you have another look. So, my friends, one more episode is done. We finish the hall, almost. There's left only the core part. We will do it next time. Honestly, I'm happy with the result. I'm glad that I did this part, that I didn't paint it. It looked interesting. I don't use some part that goes with the kit. So don't judge me, it's just my choice. I'm happy with the result. She looks pretty awesome. I like very much the hole, the bottom. Also look nice. Well guys, it was Home Harbor. Thank you very much. I really appreciate that you are with me, that you are watching. Every new video will be better, more interesting. Now we have a lot of stuff to do on the deck. I cannot wait when we start to do the cannons. I already test some of them, how to do it better. I have some more interesting stuff to show you. I'm not professional but I do enjoy building ships and I want to share it with you and show to you what I do. So it was Roman, it was Home Harbor and it was Pirate Polaris. See you next time.